Hello everyone, I am Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because we're giving our entryway a makeover for spring. It is that time of the year and I'm so excited. I cannot barely hide it on how excited I am about the spring season for 2019 because there's gonna be so many projects and I have so many ideas that I wanna share with you guys. And we're gonna to start today decorating this house for spring and my inspiration is terracotta pots. They're gonna be used all over the house, in the kitchen, in the living room, in the dining room, in the patio. There's gonna be terracotta galore because I really do love the way the terracotta looks with the greenery for spring. It is a very classic look and I think it's super affordable to do if you do it right and I'm gonna show you how to do it right so you can save some money while decorating for spring around your house. All right, you guys, if you guys wanna see how I make over the entryway for spring, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video and share with a friend. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing because here we talk about interior design and decorating through fun DIY projects to help you unleash your inner designer so you can create a space that tells your story. So please consider subscribing. I'm so excited. Let's go decorate. All right, you guys. So we are heading to Home Depot to buy some terracotta pots. I know they have some really affordable ones. And then also the 99 cent store has some, but because Home Depot has the best selection that we're gonna head there, we're gonna pick through their terracotta pots and look for something affordable. And I'll show you exactly what they have in one second. because they remind me of like a French garden. So they have this big one for $5.97, you guys. That's super affordable. But my favorite ones is this size right here. And I think I'm gonna get a few to plant, a few silk plants on it. It looks so cute. And then also this size right here is only $1.47. And these are also perfect to plant some silks. The selection is just great. And then also like these smaller ones right here for entertaining outdoors you can put a topiary on it and if you're going for a color scheme then i absolutely love these ones are glazed they have different colors and they're just absolutely gorgeous and then also they have different shapes like this one right here they're super cute All right, you guys, so the very first thing I wanna do is clean the surface on this table that I have on my entryway. And then I place this big mirror. Sometimes I like to change mirrors for artwork, but for spring, because I want it to reflect as much light as I can into the room, then I'm gonna use a mirror. Then I'm gonna use a whole, a whole collection of uh, terracotta pots where we're gonna put some plants to display greenery. This year, I'm gonna be doing a lot of greenery throughout the house, because I think when spring comes, we just want to bring the outdoors in, and I think the best way to do it is by combining silk and real flowers. Let me show you. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the taller piece right here. So the very first thing I wanna do is put the tallest piece right here, and that's gonna give us some height. And I went to Home Depot and bought a whole bunch of these terracotta pots and saucers, and I'm gonna put this fern right here. Then the next thing I wanna do is bring in some light. By adding this lamp right here, I'm bringing in some light, and the reason why is because this is a, a source of light at night, so we turn this light on just for mood lighting. So I like to put this guy right here. And then I'm gonna add another tree, and I got this guy at Goodwill, you guys. It was $5.99, and it is super cute. It has some lemons on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this guy right behind the lamp, right here to kinda even out both of the um, both of the sides, but keep in mind that they are different kinds of green and they're both on different terracotta pots, but they have that element in common. So then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring some books in the middle and let me get those real quick. All right, I have this collection of books. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add these guys right here, like so with the pages facing forward. And then actually I'm gonna put this one on this side right here. 
I love using books as decorative pieces. I like to use books as risers for other elements. Then I'm gonna bring another set of books. Let me see which. These guys right here, and I'm gonna put on this side because we're gonna add yet another plant on that stack of books. Now this is a real plant, and when you have real plants, I recommend you put a little sasser on it, and they sell them also at Home Depot. And the reason why is because you can take this over to your sink in your kitchen and put a little bit of water in it, let it drain for a little bit, and then you can add that into the sasser. That way there will be no spillage, and that, my friends, is completing our plants. Actually, I think a smaller one, because we have two on that side. I feel like we need another smaller one right here. So let me grab that real quick, and I'll be right back with you. All right, you guys, so I have an, yet another plant on a sasser in a terracotta pot, and I'm going for a more garden look because I really, like I mentioned before, I think this time of the year, we're just longing to have the greenery and the flowers. So why not bring some inside on the cold days to kind of give us a head start on spring. So then the next thing I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna add some pictures right here. And pictures is the perfect way you can personalize a space. So I'm gonna add these guys right here. There's just picture of us that I have laying around the house, like so, and that makes it more personal. Then I'm gonna add a candle over in the back because every garden should have a little candle lit up. Um, so I really like these uh, flameless candles. Let me go grab another right back with you. If you've been following for a long time, then you know that I am obsessed with hurricanes. The reason why is because you can put a candle anywhere and just put a hurricane on it and you will not have to worry about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this candle right here. Now these ones do come with a remote and I absolutely love the remote on it because you can turn it on and off just with a remote. And I just usually tag the remote right behind one of the pictures like so. Then to complete on this side right here, we're gonna add some uh, garden statuary or you can add some garden figurines. In this case, I have an orb in the color of gold and I really absolutely love having those elements of architecture uh, in any display. So I have this gold orb that I'm just gonna add over here to the side, just like I said, to add that garden feel to it. Then I found some of these cute little birds at a thrift store the other day and I had to have them just because they're silver and they are absolutely cute to play with. So I'm just gonna add these little gar um, garden birds right here to the side. And to complete this look, I think what we need is, uh, any house needs a fragrance. So I'm gonna grab a candle Now this candle smells amazing, you guys, and this is one of the ones that I got at Goodwill for 50 cents. I, I was telling Jameson that I'm gonna hate it when it's gone because I love the smell of it and there's no markings on to who makes it, uh, just this pomegranate. And it just smells amazing and I'm gonna put in a little blue dish as a coaster over here and just make sure that it's not on the way of anything that would burn. So I'm gonna move this guy a little bit this way. At this point, you just have to readjust. But I absolutely love the way this turned out. It is very garden inspired. It is very spring inspired. And I am a strong believer that when uh, it's cold outside, we can go out and get some garden inspired elements like plants like this and put them on some terracotta pots like this to give you that garden feel that we're all longing for this time of the year. All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite item to decorate for spring this year. And if you are so excited like I am about spring being on its way. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because here we talk about interior design and decorating through fun DIY projects like this to help you unleash your inner designer. And you will not want to miss any of the future videos coming to Ramona Home in 2019. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, bye.